YouTube, what's going down with y'all, man? I'm back at y'all with another video. And in this video today, as y'all can see on the screen, we already got the build pulled up. I'm just going to show y'all and walk y'all through my best build on this game. This is for all my big men that want to, you know, kind of be a jack of all trades. It's a very unique build. It's something I haven't really seen. Um, and I call this kind of like the Anthony Davis or like Nikola Jokic build. They kind of can really do everything. You can put the ball on the floor, you can shoot, you can dunk, you can play defense, and you can, you know what I'm saying, have some fun while you playing big man. Cause I already know, you know what I'm saying? When you when you're a big man, you on fries, you know what I'm saying? You getting them boards, you send them screens, it's boring. But with this build, I can assure you of that it's not going to be boring. Now, if y'all go ahead and drop a like it on this video if you're excited to see the new build. And if you're if you're rocking if you're rocking with this new 2K man, let me know down in the comments for sure. And again, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. So, this build you can kind of go a lot of different ways with it. So, I mean, I personally made a center that is 6'9 just because I wanted some extra strength. Now, you can also make the, basically the same build on a small forward. You can do the same thing with a power forward. So, kind of just, you know, I'll walk y'all through my thought process and, and all that on the build. So, basically, what we start out with, again, I'm just going to go with center. But, again, you can go 6'9, I believe, on a small forward and power forward. So, it's really up to y'all. Jersey number doesn't matter. Handiness does not matter as well so basically what we're gonna do now here is lower the height to 6'9 now this is very crucial to this build because as y'all can see on the right side that ball handle is a 76 it that, that's really good for a, a center I mean you can really move that now your strength is gonna be down I'm not gonna lie this is this is a huge huge disclaimer you're going to get I don't want to say bullied in the paint, but if somebody is a post scorer, especially in the state the game is currently in, they're probably going to dominate you. I'm not going to lie. You got to get your badges right and you'll be straight. But other than that, you should be good to go. So now what we're going to do is let me go ahead and pull up this build real quick. Basically, what you want to do is have your three pointer. You want to have it at about a 77. Have it maxed out. That's that's what I did. I put my mid range at about that same rating or like an 80 or so, and then you put your free throw up to about you know, you could get away with about a 75 free throw, and that's 22 shooting badges. You know what I'm saying? Because this build, like I said, can do everything. If you're trying to play rec, if you're trying to play park, this build can do it all, man. So I'm telling you, you gotta make that right. And I also forgot to mention. Let me go back real quick. You gotta make the wingspan 7'7. Seven, seven. That, that's that's the wingspan I made personally. I maxed out my wingspan. You can do that on this build and still be able to shoot very, very consistently. Trust me. So basically, what I did was I made my mid range an 80 and I made my three pointer a 77, like I said. And then you can just make your free throw about a 75. And that gives you, you know, a decent, you know, decent. You're gonna be able to shoot the ball very, very well. Now, the thing about this build is, you know, if you're playing rec and things like that, you need a Hall of Fame break starter. Hall of Fame break starter is at 80. This is the threshold for Hall of Fame break starter. So that's all you really need. Now you want to bump up your ball handle all the way up and you want to have your speed with ball all the way up. Now, trust me, I'm, I be moving on the park very, very well with a 76 ball handle and a, and a 63 speed with ball. Trust me on that. Now. If you really want to, if you really, really want to, you know what I'm saying, if you really want to, to maximize all your points, you can just have your ball handle be a 73. Now, you just need a 70 to get pro dribbles, but, you know, I just have it on 76 just so I can max out that potential. But again, you can get away with putting it on 70 or 73, depending, because you can get that silver handle just for days. Now, if you want half of glue hands, you got to put on 74. So it's up to you, but I personally went with the 76 ball handle. Now, what we're going to do here is basically we are going to put our driving dunk all the way up. This is so that you can get pretty much every dunk package in the game and all that good stuff. I ain't going to lie, we're not looking for layups. We're looking to shoot the ball and we're looking to dunk the ball when we're wide open. So driving layup, I mean, just be smart with taking your layups. You feel me? Just be smart with that. Now, here is the bread and butter of this build. 
This build can basically play, it, you can defend every single position basically. Now, if you want Hall of Fame, I believe that is defensive leader. So for, I, I pressed the B button, my fault y'all. But for a defensive leader, you need your interior defense to be at least a 90. And that is why we are going to put it on 90. There's really no benefit in putting it anything above that. So there's no point in going any higher. Now, your perimeter defense is at a 78. Again, to maximize it, all you gotta do is put your perimeter defense at a 76. If you want menace, put it at a 77. You know, that, that that's probably the best way to go, go about that. You know what I'm saying? To get, get, get your thresholds. You feel me? Get your thresholds. Now, what we're gonna do is have an 80 steal. This is so that, you know, there's no benefit in putting it at 82 over 80. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to basically maximize as much stuff that we as we can on each one of these categories. And that's how you have to view a lot of these categories. Again, block. Same thing, really. The highest block rating you can have to get Chase Down Artist is 88. The highest you can get for Hall of Fame Rim Protector, you have to have a 96 or excuse me, 97 block. Now, you could go, you could do that if you want, if you really want to, that's up to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, for the sake of this build, that's what I'm gonna do. And as far as rebound, we are going to put our rebound at an 80, 89, or excuse me, 90, 91. That's what I meant to do. I put meant to put on 91. Offensive rebound, you can get away with putting it on like a 75, you straight, you feel me? Now, to get that extra, uh, Defensive badge, put it on 78, you feel me? Now, all you gotta do, max out your speed, max out your acceleration, max out your strength, max out your stamina, all that good stuff. And now, we're basically just gonna put the rest on standing dunk. Um, again, you can kinda change that if you really want to. Um, you really, There's really no benefit in putting your vertical. Honestly, I'm pretty sure the threshold is either 70 or 75. So you can kinda mess around with that. So there's really no point in putting anything above that. And then now we could just put the rest on standing dunk. So we're basically finishing with 13 finishing badges, 22 shooting badges, 19 playmaking, and 32 defensive badges. And trust me, y'all, when I tell y'all this, trust me, trust me. I'm telling you, this is the build for you. Trust me. This is the build for y'all to be able to do it. Now, the thing about it is, you know, we could just put our offensive rebound at 79. Again, that's, that's just to really, you know, base it off of it. Again, your weight, it really doesn't matter. You really just gotta put it on whatever you're comfortable with. I think I went about 240-ish in that range, but it doesn't make sense. This build is really more so to make your player a little bit lighter. Don't make him too light, but make him lighter than this. Make him lighter than the default. Do not ever go up higher. So again, here are the, the stats for you. If you really wanna make this build exactly how I made it, Take a screenshot of it, whatever you need to do, all that good stuff. So that is basically how we get our, our build. That's how we get the two-way facilitator, man. I've never, I have not seen anybody else with this build. Um, the build name, at least at center, I have not seen it. It's a very unique build. It's a very fun build. Again, a very fun build for my, for my centers out there, man. You know, I gotta feed y'all with the good information. Now, again, the primary takeover I went with is Spot Up Precision. It's really good, and then Paint Intimidation. Both of these are really good, but again, you have Mamba mentality, so you're able to you know, switch that up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and finish our build, and there we are, there we have it. We have the two-way facilitator right there, man. And that's really it, you know what I'm saying? We can, we can test our build. I'm gonna just show y'all what I mean about the bad selections that y'all can have with this build, man. So basically, with what I put on my build, I have my fast twitch on, you know what I'm saying? I got my limit, I be having limited takeoff on, posterizer. I don't, you don't really need unstrippable, but you could put it on if you want. Um, you can also put on, you know, Lob City Finisher. You can put on some Pro Touch, some Slither Finisher. It's really up to you what you want to do with your finishing badges. And again, you can kind of mess around with it and make your finishing a little bit better, but just for me, I'm not really looking to do that. So with this build, again, you can put limitless spot up, you got set shooter, you definitely can put your put your Hall of Fame sniper on, put that hot zone hunter on, you got dead eye, you got catch and shoot, you can have green machine. And that's the that's the beauty in this build, man. You can have a lot of badges. I'm not gonna lie, this build has a lot of 
badges. Now the thing about this, you got your Hall of Fame break starter. That's what you need. You know what I'm saying? That's very, very key if you're playing rec to have that. You gotta have your quick first step. Gotta have your post playmaker. You can definitely get away with like a, a silver goo hands, you know what I'm saying? Get your unpluckable because them steals, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, the steals is crazy. Them steals is definitely crazy. So then put your bullet passer on and that, that's really it. I mean, you can again, you can mess around with it, have your handles for days, you wanna ISO, get your downhill, all that good stuff. Now, again, this is the bread and butter. You can put Hall of Fame in an intimidator. You can put Menace on. You can have your, your chase down artist. You can have your, your rebound chaser, your rim protector. You get clamps as well. And you still have seven badges left. So I'm going to put bronze interceptor on. You know what I'm saying? Put the silver box on. You get pickpocket. And as well, you can get away with putting on post move lockdown. You can put on brick wall. And that's a good thing about this game as well. You can change your badge loadouts however you want ankle braces defensive leader just kind of it, it gives you the freedom especially defensively to do what you want so again the reason why we went six nine this is very very important i should have said this earlier in the video but this is very very important if you watch all the way here this is very important the reason you go six nine is so that you can have every jump shot in the game you can have whatever jump shot you choose. You do not, you, it is not locked behind a height thing or anything like that. You can have whatever jump shot you want and that is the good thing about it. I personally use Dante Exum base, but you can do whatever you want, you feel me? But, you know, that's, that's basically it, honestly. You know, you all can really, you know, mess around with it, you know. I'm not, I'm not saying this is the perfect build, but if this is something you wanna make, you could definitely do it again i made mine a little bit different but if i could go back and kind of change some things this is what i would change it to personally so that's gonna do it for the video man hopefully y'all enjoyed it leave a like if this helps you out you know what i'm saying again you can get away with shooting with a 77 3 bro trust me i almost shoot 60 percent on the park and about 55 percent in the wreck and that's no cap. You can look me up on Xbox. You feel me? My gamer tag is right here. You feel me? So, if y'all don't believe me, man, hey, it is what it is. But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all boys in the next video. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all for watching all the way through. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one, man. I'm gonna be trying to do more park videos and all that good stuff. But until next time, I'll catch y'all. Peace.